Imagine graduating at the end of primary school and getting straight into the workforce. That's what it was like for many children living at the turn of the century. Children at that time were in school until fifth class, then sat an exam called the Qualifying Certificate. After this exam, they either went on to high school or left school altogether to work. Jim Youngin left school at the age of 12 or 13. His sister Jenny, Dolly Youngin, went to high school for two years. In some cases, children left school earlier if their family needed them to work, to help them financially. Jim's friend and neighbour, Fred Hughes, was given a special dispensation to finish his classes earlier on Fridays so he could work to help his family. He was 12 or 13 at the time. Even when they were at school, children at that time were taught different things. Girls were taught needlework and cooking to prepare them to be future housewives, while boys were taught subjects like woodwork. My sister passed the qualifying certificate and the family were endeavouring to keep her at school. For me, to stay at school would have been an added load on the small business. Most children finish school at fifth class, 